Today we're taking out the mini pontoon boat to go check out a shipwreck I haven't been able to access on land. And uh, I just want to start this video by showing off this is one of the worst boat ramps I've ever been. It's in a protected seagrass area. What are they protecting it from? Underwater John Deere's? I don't know, but anyway, this is what we're dealing with. Definitely one of the uh, worst boat ramps I've had to launch this little boat out of, but there are, well, it looks like an abandoned sailboat that's been beached way on the other side of the bridge. So it's probably gonna take me a long time to get there, but we're getting there nonetheless, and uh, we're gonna go check it out, go on a little adventure. We do have to pass under that bridge. So this should be interesting. And it's super, super shallow. Here we go. So since we are going under the bridge and it's a pretty good fishing spot, I am, I do need to stretch some line on a couple things here. So let's get that going. Where we are going is under Hathaway Bridge in Panama City, Florida, into the kind of bay where the port is where all the big ships are. We're not going quite that far. We're just going to a little sheltered cove that, uh, or whatever you want to call it, that a lot of sailboats like to park. I think a boat actually sunk out there the other day. We just had a tornado, so that's why things are so crazy. But let's get this going. Unbeknownst to me, this is where my battery had a loose connection within the battery housing and it started to melt, uh, I believe it was the negative terminal. Uh, so this was a result of not having the proper tools at the boat ramp needing to resecure a loose connection, but it's all squared away now. Uh, but you'll hear me kind of complain about how I'm not quite running the right voltage. I have a live voltage meter through my fish finder and uh, I just don't seem to be going fast enough. Well, it was a loose connection. Not sure how well you can see it, but I have a nautical map here. It's showing us exactly where I'm going. We are going right around what's called Sulphur Point, I guess. We're going to go right under the bridge here, and you can see the water depth. So that's some good information for bigger boats, but I can basically go anywhere. But this is a good resource to have.
this is a very good rough water test. You know, I'm in the uh, Pond Prowler Facebook group. And everybody's always asking, man, can you take these on big lakes? I'm so worried about boats passing. I'm so worried about waves. Shallow alarm. I got to keep an eye on that. We are pretty shallow. After all, we are. We're, oh, my God. This thing is beach beached. Uh, anyway. Ooh, we're getting real shallow. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. My fucking car. Anyway, yeah, people are always worried about taking their tiny boat out on big lakes. Well, trust me, you're fine. <laughs> I just ate a boat's wake pretty easily. Good Lord, this thing is beached. All right, we've made it. That thing looks like it's been there a while. Got more sailboats. We got the big old port with some cool ships in it. More sailboats. And... There's the bridge. Nice. Water's not too choppy today. Well, I guess it depends on who you ask. Let's go check this guy out. This is a pretty good representation of how well this boat handles with some chop or just, you know, any ocean condition. Now, a lot of people only like to put these on glass ponds and lakes, but I take it out in white caps and wind because, well, it can handle it. I took on literally zero water into the interior of the boat, and uh, the camera does a really, really good job of leveling the horizon, but don't be fooled, it's choppy. look nice go to sleep wake up fish cook what you catch not give a shit very nice that little guy over there he looks pretty manageable he also looks within budget i like the looks of that guy we've got my second favorite right here another good one but the one that looks beach looked like it was a real beauty at one point real pretty but it's kind of cool that the patrons of this here restaurant get to see that sailboat from a different perspective. So I'm actually going to pull up and we're going to go right up on that thing. And then that guy out there, he's a little far out there. That'd take an extra five minutes. We'll just admire it from here. That port's pretty cool too. Some crazy stuff comes in around through here. Sorry for not being very stable. We are on a tiny boat. You never know with stuff like this. You don't know if it's a tragedy. Quit it. I know I'm in shallow water. I've got eyeballs. You never know if it's a tragedy. You never know if there's fatalities. And you never know if it's just an old ship that they wanted put there because, well, it looks cool for the business. You never really know, but I've been curious. We got a few more feet. We've got a few more feet to spare. Let's check out this side. Sure is beautiful. All right, before we get beached and I gotta push myself out, I'm gonna hit the reverse. How long this thing's been out here. But you can see it's got some life on the bottom side of it. That hole's gonna need to be repaired. I am very, very curious.
This is unbelievably relaxing. Hearing the bottom of the water splash up onto the bottom here around the pontoons. Like every once in a while, I get a little bit of cool mist on the back of my neck. Just, I don't know what to say. Why is this so comfortable? Shouldn't be this comfortable. Sorry about the ugly sunglasses. They have a camera built into it. A future video is overnight on the Bon Brawler. Maybe I'll spend it with these sailboats. Is it a horrible idea? Of course it is. Is anybody gonna talk me out of it? Of course not. Wow, I'm getting carried away. I have to, I gotta meet a client. I've already been at this for hours. Oh gosh, I could be here all day. You better believe it, folks. I could be here all day long in that spot. That is probably the most relaxed. I didn't understand that. Sitting there is probably the most relaxed I've been in a while. You just rock with the waves. All you can hear is the waves hitting the bottom of the boat. It's amazing, but uh, I can't get too comfy. Oh. Fall in now. Don't you fall in now, you hear me? Don't you not damn it. We got a sailboat a good 500 yards out that's actually sailboat. Good for you, buddy. gonna make me throw up.
Time to go home, unfortunately. Thanks for watching, folks. I upload three times a week. If you'd like to see more Florida content, specifically tiny boat content, hit that like and subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you on our next adventure.